everyone, welcome. I am Paula and it is a beautiful morning once again here at the lake. I like to come down here early in the morning and have my coffee, let my dog swim in the water. It's so quiet, like I don't think anyone is awake yet. Um, I know Ed and our friend that's staying, we have a house guest right now. Um, he's been here for pretty much the whole holiday weekend. Uh, Ed's hunting buddy, they go out hunting in the fall and right now it is turkey hunting season. Well, it's almost over for him, but um, he has been up here turkey hunting and staying with us and um, he hasn't gotten anything yet. So um, anyways, um, I just wanted to come on here for a little bit. I just got out of the shower, so my hair is looking kind of crazy right now, but um, I wanted to just talk a little bit and be kind of vulnerable um, while it's quiet and there's no distractions. Um, I want to talk about something that I have never talked about on my channel. I don't know why I haven't talked about it. I guess I haven't felt comfortable yet about sharing it. I've shared just about everything that I could share. I've been very transparent with my health and um, with everything that has gone on, even hormones. I talked about hormones and yeast infections and things that you would think would be hard to talk about. Um, but this has been something that has been a little more uh, difficult to talk about. And so I don't know why, but I just feel led to sh share this today. Um, I was just thinking about it this morning when I woke up and um, I don't know if someone needs to hear this or if, you know, it's just time for me to kind of release it for myself. But um, for years, I struggled with anxiety, um, a little bit of depression. I was never to the point of depression where I was, um, I needed, like I needed to go on antidepressants or anything like that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I have family members that suffer from depression. Um, it seems to run in our family. And, um, but I never got to that point where it was really extreme, but I did have those, those, those times. And the biggest thing that I went through was the anxiety. I had extreme anxiety back in my early 20s, 30s, even 40s, up until I started this way of eating. Um, I feel really bad for my two boys because I had extreme anxiety when they were kids. Um, I It caused me to be really fearful and overprotective of them. I was always afraid that just something bad was going to happen to them and I always felt nervous and anxious. So I feel like it hindered a lot of things that they wanted to do as children. Um, for instance, I encouraged them to go into band instead of football because, you know, football, they could be really, they could get hurt, you know, and they could, um, lots of, you know, you hear about bad things that happen and all of that and um, just just things like that. Little things throughout life. I was very overprotective. I wouldn't let them stay at anyone's house. The kids always had to come to our house and stay at our house. We always had the pool parties and um, the sleepovers and all of that. And um, which I think a lot of that is wisdom. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot of wisdom there in some of those areas, but uh, mine was extreme. I had really extreme anxiety. My father, um, I'm definitely my father's daughter. Um, sadly, he passed away a few years ago when um, we had the virus and he did contract the virus. He got COVID and he passed away. But I am his du duplicate as far as overthinking, worrying, um, anxiety, you know, all that kind of stuff. And um, so anyways, uh, it was a long time that I suffered with anxiety. Sometimes I got um, depressive moments where I would feel really down and I really had to shake myself out of it. Um, but I always seemed to be able to come out of that it was the anxiety that really controlled my life back then. I always had very nervous, stressful moments when we were doing anything. We took our kids camping a lot. They swam in lakes. I was very fearful the whole time. 
and here we're living on a lake. My grandkids swim in the lake and I'm very watchful, but the anxiety, it's pretty much gone. Um, but when my kids were little, um, even fishing, standing and fishing on the shore, I was terrified. Um, I just had these uh, extreme anxiety moments, attacks, I guess you could say. And thankfully I have a very grounded husband who is very patient and was able to always talk me through when I had these really high anxiety moments. He was always able to bring me down, calm me down, but it didn't stop them from happening. They just kept happening over and over again. So throughout my life, I have always been overly anxious about a lot of things. And over the past few years, since I have been eating this way, um, anxiety, um, I can't say it's completely gone. I still am a worrier. I still have my moments, but I'm able to get over them a lot quicker. I'm able to think clearly and say, wait a minute, I don't need to feel this way. I need to just calm down. And I really attribute that to the way that I eat. Um, because of the clean way of eating, um, cutting chemicals, there's a lot of chemicals in manufactured foods, packaged foods, seed oils. You know, there's a lot of stuff that I don't consume now. There's a lot of things that I was consuming back then that I know was amplifying and intensifying those issues. But now I'm so much calmer. I am able to be surprisingly calm when things happen um, that I would have before really overreacted and really like went off the edge. I'm able to maintain my composure and be the calm person that I never thought that I would be. And as I said, you know, I still have moments. Um, I still have to uh, work through moments of anxiety, but it's the intense anxiety, the anxiety attacks, the heart palpitations when um, the fear would creep in and, you know, different things, you know, anything that was happening high, that, that would cause me to go into high anxiety, those are all gone. I, if I do have an anxious moment, it's here, not way up here. And um, it definitely has made a difference. And I just wanted to share that uh, because I know that I have heard a lot of people talk about this way of eating helping anxiety and depression. And I've wanted to share that, that it has really truly helped me, but I just haven't had that moment yet where I felt like I needed to share, but today was the moment. Um, things have definitely changed for me in life. I'm much more calmer, relaxed, um, able to enjoy life more. I really feel that truly um, in the anxiety slash depression area in my life, things have really improved and um, I'm enjoying life so much more than I did back when I was not eating this way. So when we have our first meal today, I'll let you know what we're having. I'm still doing carnivore. It is May 30th. Tomorrow's the last day of the challenge. I do continue to do carnivore, relaxed carnivore through the month of June. Uh, I'm going to be dialing back on the dairy. Still going to be having dairy, not giving it up, but I'm going to be dialing back on the amount and I'm going to be adding just a little bit of berries because it's summertime. I like to have a little berries once in a while and we're going to try that out for the month of June and see how that goes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go and I will see y'all in a little bit. I want to show you my irises. I love these flowers. They are so beautiful. Just had one open up this morning. We are in Northern Michigan. So these are late bloomers up here. And I just came out here this morning and seen that, so pretty. I also just noticed this one, different color. Look at that. So 
this is gonna be our breakfast. We're making a scramble. We have three of us here, and we ended up waking up this morning and find out we have five eggs. So Ed is going to make it stretch. And we have two little ribeyes that were in the fridge, so he is frying those up. With and some onions. with some onions. Mm -hmm. Got the five eggs over there. It's gonna scramble those in, add a little cheese, and make us all a scramble. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. And we have the famous farm dust here. I gotta get some more of this. Yeah. So, we yeah. Buy like four or five of those. Yeah, <laughs> well, we need to like stock up. So yeah, that's what we're doing for breakfast. Um, it's gonna be great. Delicious. Eggs. Eggs and ribeye. Right. I'm gonna have a breakfast burrito. I put it on an egg life wrap and it's gonna be good. All right, so I need to go to Aldi. So our closest Aldi is how much? 35, 35 miles away. Um, so we're making a trip and we're gonna go to Aldi and Ed needs to go to Home Depot and get a few things. And I want to go to a thrift store there that I like. Um, so we're just going to go do a few little things in, in that town. And we're also going to stop at the little butcher where we get our cow meat from and our, our hog um, and see if they have some fresh eggs. And if they do, we're going to buy what, whatever we can. And so just making a little run out on this beautiful sunny day. So I'll keep you updated let you know what's going on there's a food truck i think that's the food truck that has the keto foods but i'm not sure we have a food truck that is in our little town here it's new and they have a keto option on their menu and i just think that's pretty awesome i haven't eaten there yet but i did see their menu on facebook and they have like some keto sandwiches and uh, a couple different things so i think that's pretty cool that you can find that like in a little small town on a, on a little food truck so maybe we'll go there one day but anyways um, I'll talk to you later and let you know what's going on I've been out running errands and Ed is in Home Depot right now and we just came from Aldi I got some groceries and I also went to a little thrift store that I really love they have some great quality items in there I usually find some really good name brand uh, clothes I found a really nice free people top blouse for four dollars and then I found another blouse and it was four dollars and I went to go pay and um, the lady told me that they had a bag sale everything you cram in the shopping bag is ten dollars and my my bill was like it gonna be eight dollars so I thought well I'm gonna go back and look for a few more things so I ended up finding Ed some t-shirts and another pair of swim trunks. You can always use an extra pair of swim trunks at the lake. And I found a couple more things for myself and filled that bag for $10. I love those kind of sales. But um, anyways, after we get done here, we're going to stop and get a coffee. Tim Hortons. Haven't had that in mm, maybe a week. So we're going to get a coffee and then we're going to head back home. And then we're going to head back home and i gotta start shifting gears and thinking about dinner i'm thinking i'm going to do um breaded chicken tenders and maybe some breaded shrimp for dinner and did you know i have an ebook a downloadable ebook with about 20 recipes that all involve my crispy breading so i will put the link for that down below at the top of the description if you want to go and check out that cookbook so i'll see you when we get back to the house dinner time and we're having shrimp and chicken and ed's shrimp is done first so he's going to have some fried air fried shrimp and some caesar salad mm -hmm. and my chicken is still cooking some of his shrimp still is too this is the shrimp. Looks really good. Awesome. Yeah. Nice and crispy. We made some homemade tartar sauce to go with that. And um, this is the shrimp without breading. This is the shrimp after. 
And I'm gonna be having some of this Caesar dressing to dip my chicken strips in. And that's gonna be dinner. I'll be back. All right, so chicken tenders. Let me turn it. I have some Caesar dressing homemade. Dip my chicken tenders in. How's the shrimp? Awesome. So funny story. I used to work with a guy, we used to call him scrimps. <laughs> we used to go get some scrimps all the time. <laughs> it was funny, I thought. Awesome, very good. I always take too big of a bite. Okay, this is really good. Got some more shrimps in the air fryer. So, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. It's been a nice day. I think we're gonna go for a boat ride in a little bit and enjoy the sunset. Like, so, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, and see you soon. Have a great night and God bless.